Well, Maria, Ed, we're actually just going to toss it right now to Henry Richard. He's the brother of uh, Boston Marathon bombing victim Martin Richard. He just finished the race just really quickly. How are you feeling right now after that race? I'm feeling great. It was a great finish. I'm glad that a big group of the team was able to finish together. We had a blast out there. And I understand a lot of your brother's friends were out here, you know, just in solidarity. What was that like, having a big group? I mean, it was great. It's good to have people to run with. It's good to have people out there. And the race means so much to them, as it does to me. So it was great to see them cross that finish line. How was it today? I mean, the weather was a little bit tough at times. How did you fare? I mean, we kind of liked it. It was a nice breeze. It kept us, kept us up, and it kept us going. <laughs> you have a question, John? Um, yeah, so that was uh, obviously this, uh, just really quick, I just want to ask you one more thing. So you ran this last year. I how, did, yes. How does this race compare? I mean, obviously it's, it's 10 years. It's kind of, it's an unfortunate milestone, but how, you know, how are you feeling yeah. after 10 years? Um, it's an emotional day. Um, I definitely was thinking about that for most of the race, but we put together a fantastic team this year, people who mean so much to me, so much to my family, and I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly proud of them, and I couldn't be happier today. We thank you for your time. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. And, um, you know, Ed and Maria, th this is just one of the several stories that we've heard throughout this entire race day today. I mean, you take a look behind me, and there's just still so many people finishing at this point. There's so many people that have a story, and you just heard one right there, and the stories, they pour across just as each and every person finishes here.